One of the comments that you said earlier just resonated with me. Um, the, the golf grip is, uh, and when you're fitting your grips, it's part science, part feel. And when you talked about releasing the golf club, if, if your grips are not fitted properly, you could actually, could you release too early or too late or not release at all? Yeah, definitely. You can do all three. Okay. Um, depending on what your swing is, and everybody's got their own unique swing and their own intricacies to mm -hmm. the swing, uh, you're going to need a different size grip. You're going to need a different type of grip. You're going to need a different firmness of the grip. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure that that's very individual. Right. And you may see something that you're not even thinking of. Uh, maybe the right grip for you, okay. maybe the right size, maybe the right density, uh, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. it may not be exactly what you think you sure. need or what your buddies have. And also releasing the club to me, I think is, is it, it's really interesting to me because I don't know if you consciously think about releasing the club or because you have the right grip, the grip size and the grip pressure, will that club automatically release? I think that the club should automatically release okay. if you've got everything else working correctly. So if you've got the right grip size, the right grip pressure, and you're coming uh, into the ball correctly, yep. then it should release. Now, if you have one of those things that isn't working properly, then you might release early, you might release late, you might not release at all. Got so it. uh, it's uh, it can be very specific to each swing, mm -hmm. but uh, those things are the most important things to, to make sure that you have Great. all three.